60s child. Do you you remember? remember? Ah, good old Bonanza. What a cracking cowboy series. An unforgettable theme tune. Even the start of the actual tune. You knew instantly it was Bonanza coming on. And people of our generation still say 10 to 10 Bonanza time. Dun, 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 Anyhow, the story's not just about Bonanza the TV show. This is about a toy. You see, one Christmas morning in the mid-1960s when Santa had been to drop all the presents under the tree, both me and my older brother, like many kids, were so excited to open our presents. Although, realistically, our tree didn't look like this. More like this. But I was more than happy as a little child to get the presents that I got. But then I saw something very special that my brother had got off Santa. He'd got his very own Ben Cartwright and his horse. I must have only been about six years old, but I remember thinking, I wish I'd have got that toy. It's not that I was disappointed with what I got, it's just this toy was so special. I fell in love with it straight away. The figure was about eight inches tall. In new money, that's about 20 centimetres. He came with his horse, all the tackle, guns and everything. Even the box looked like a little stable. It was amazing. And only on Bonanza horses did you get action hooves. And according to the adverts, only action hooves allowed you to easily ride the range. All the horses always had one leg raised at the front and the three other hooves would have a ball bearing in the bottom. So you could roll it along. That's riding the range. And in the early 60s, that was proper toy technology. So in this cool stable-like box, what did you actually get? Well, you got your horse, you got Ben the figure, and you got your instruction book, which unfolded into a poster-sized picture of Ben and all his equipment. And you did get a fair bit of equipment with it. You got what they call a vest, which is a waistcoat, or if you come from where I come from, it's a waistcoat. A pair of spurs. A bandana, a hat, a pistol, a cartridge belt with holster, rifle boot, rifle, canteen, and lariat, or rope. And for your horse, you got all the tack, saddle, bridle, etc., reins, a rolled up blanket for the back, you name it, and you even got uh, saddle bags. Yeah, everything you need to ride like a cowboy. The figure was quite well made, he was very articulated. His head would move back in two, his arm would swivel at the shoulder, his elbow would bend and turn, his legs moved back and forth at the hips and flexed in and out, his wrist turned, his feet turned at the ankles and his knees bend. What more could you ask for? There were four figures available, Ben, Hoss, Little Joe and the Outlaw. The Outlaw, really there's a story to this. The outlaw figure was originally Adam Cartwright, but he left the show, or rather the actor who played the part, and he didn't have the permission. So they stuck a new head on the body and called him the outlaw. The likenesses were quite good. You could actually tell who was who. In the top left corner, that's the original Adam, and here's a picture of the outlaw. In the States, these were made by American character and Palatoy in Britain. Now for me, if you're going to buy these figures, this is the one I'd have wanted, with the little stable and everything. You could just buy the figure as a single figure in a box, with all his equipment. And you could buy the horses separate too. There was Ben's Palomino, Hoss's Chestnut Stallion, Little Joe's Pinto, or the Outlaw's Grey Mustang. And as if that wasn't enough, you could actually get this, the Bonanza 4-in-1 Wagon. Complete with two horses and over 70, get that, 70 authentic accessories. Wagon came unassembled, which wasn't a big task to put it together, pretty easy, just snaps together. The overall length of this was about 25 inches, believe it or not. And the box, with a bit of tweaking, you could turn it into an ore wagon, a covered wagon, a ranch wagon, or a chuck wagon. 
was, I think that's brilliant value for money. To me as a child these figures were perfect, but looking at them as an adult now, they are very good, but there's something strange about how wide his legs are about. It looks like he's got a full nappy on, probably so he can sit on his horse, but even so, it does look a little strange. If you're thinking about starting collecting these, I'll just warn you, they don't come cheap. Even broken ones like this still fetch a fair few quid. Sometimes if they've been left in the light too long, they tend to fade like this. There are people who renovate them and spray them and all kinds, but I think it ruins it a bit if you spray it and it looks brand new. Another problem with these toys is, especially the horses, is the saddle is made of a sort of vinyl type rubber and over time it releases a chemical that actually ends up welding the rubber saddle to the horse. A lot of people think it's been glued on and actually advertise it as saddles being glued on but it's not, it's a chemical reaction that happens over many many years. And it does look like somebody's glued it but if you look very closely it is actually the melted plastic and they both welded together and that's something to be aware of. Not impossible to fix but you need a lot of fill and a lot of patience. It's a fab toy range, there's still a few about but they are quite rare. Let me know whether you remember these in the 60s. I actually own one when I purchased off eBay and it's a complete one now so one day I'll put that on video for you and show you. Anyway to end this little video I thought I'd leave you with the original advert for this toy I think it was a TV ad, it could have been a cinema ad, but I think it was a TV ad and I think it's American because it was full colour and we're talking early 60s in Britain, so I don't ever remember seeing this on TV, you might have done, I don't know, let me know. So as always, take care of yourselves, enjoy life and I'll see you later. men from Bonanza, the Cartwrights, the greatest western toys ever, Little Joe, fastest left-handed draw in the west, Ben, the toughest pioneer who ever rode the plains, and Hoss, always ready for a good fight. You can even get the outlaw, the meanest desperado you ever saw. Watch out! He's getting away! Hit him, Hoss! Pow! You got him! And you can get the trailblazing four-in-one Bonanza wagon. Each Cartwright comes complete with over a dozen accessories. Each horse has action ooze. You can buy Little Joe's Pinto, Hoss's Stallion, and Ben's Big Buckskin. The action men from Bonanza will put you right in the Wild West. Buy American Character, the hottest brand around.